Ariel Hawani post-fight at UFC 141 alongside The Tonight Show's own Jacob Volkman, who defeated Efrain Escudero tonight via unanimous decision. And uh, let's clear something up. Uh, you, you say that the last time you saw me, I had a different haircut. I haven't what? changed my hairstyle for the last seven years. Uh, and you also called me Ariani, by the way. Oh, Christ almighty. Bring it on, I guess. I, I made a mistake. I, I always pictured you with hair for some reason. <laughs> I was the guy who you talked know, to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're the, you're the famous, right. you're the famous, uh... It's nice to see you run with this, clearly. <laughs> yes, this is my, my shirt. Um, after I called it Obama, I, I thought it'd be kind of funny to make my own shirt yeah. to be a president. And I'm the only one that liked it because everyone else could booed me out there. Well, let's, before we talk about the fight, let's talk about the post-fight interview. Uh, yeah. Did that go as planned? Did, did you think that was a hit with the crowd? Oh, I thought Joe Rogan would laugh a little more. Okay. He kind of ruined it for he me. Kind of no-sold it, right? Yeah, he did, yeah. He ruined it. I wanted to punch him in the nuts. <laughs> Are you disappointed in him? Yeah. Do you think that he was trying to, you know, maybe he didn't want anyone to sort of do I the comedy th thing next to him? I think he's a Democrat, even though I know he's not. He's uh, more of an independent guy. guy cause right. I, th I think everyone knows where he stands. So you called out Frankie Edgar. Yeah. Is that who you want next? It ain't going to happen. Right. I would love to have Cerrone Diaz, but that ain't going to happen either. Why not? Any top 10 guy would be nice. I think uh, Cerrone Diaz, the winner of that, they're going to be next in line for the, the title. So they're not gonna they're not gonna put me against those guys. And what is a glassectomy? Well, our, our glassectomy is when they cut your belly button out and put a piece of glass in there. Mm. So when when uh, Obama has his head, but his body can see where he's going. Does this actually happen? Is this something that just the kids? Oh, so you, did, you make, did you make did you make that up? But yeah, no, I I learned I heard, I heard that when I was six years old. Somebody, okay. Dwayne Sitchie, I heard it from me. Dwayne Sitchie told my dad when I was six years old, and I, I thought it was kind of funny. Did he say that you had your head up your butt, or did could he say have. that your he father could. did? He could have. I guess no one can really have their head up their butt, right? Kind of a silly question. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> now, what did you think of your performance overall? Obviously, a, a dominant one, but uh, in the in the third round, things got uh, kind of dicey there for you. How tough was the? How tight was the choke? It was it was very tight. My my peripheral was starting to close down, which means uh, he was hitting the carotids pretty good. I was I was closed out, and I looked at the clock. It was a minute and a half. Like I was like, oh my god, I got to survive for a minute and a half, but I did. How close were you to tapping? I wasn't going to tap. I, I was going to, I was trying not to go out as a main goal. Were you happy with your performance overall? Another dominant win as a uh, lightweight and you continue uh, your streak here undefeated as a 155 pounder. I wasn't too happy with my leg kicks. Um, I only connected a couple. I threw a, a few more, but they didn't connect. I think I was a little too hesitant. I need to open up my hands. Does it bother you when you hear the crowd booing after you have a dominant round like you did in the first and second? Yeah, I think they're only all about knockouts and finishes. I played a technical game. I don't think they like that too well. Do you feel like you need to sort of jazz things up a bit? You know, John Fitch has this, this problem. He keeps winning, but no one's really excited to see him fight because he keeps winning decisions, hard-fought, tough, gritty decisions, much like yourself. Yeah, it's it's... It's hard. I don't really know where your question was going on that one. Well, do you feel like you need to maybe be a little more flashy, try to finish, uh, guys? Uh, not to say that you're not trying to finish, but maybe, like you say, give the people what they want, knockout submissions, etc. Yeah, because in the in the back room when Dana White talks to us, he talks to all the fighters right at the weigh-ins, he goes, Donald Cerrone, the only reason he's getting this chance is because he, he finishes fights. The, you, you other guys, you need to learn how to finish fights or you won't get a chance. So it's like, I, I, I felt like that was aimed right at me, but... It is. I'm doing it to myself. I'm not. I'm not finish, finishing fights. So that said, are you disappointed with your performance tonight? Well, yeah. Yeah. To be honest, yes. Right. So what do you need to do in order to sort of take that next step here and, and try to finish these fights? I got uh, well, one step at a time. I need to work on my hands and timing. Um, connect my punches. Connect my kicks. Confidence. Is, it'll take time. It seemed like there was some uh, some beef between you and Escudero. You you said in a few interviews that you didn't really like his attitude. What about his attitude? Did, his attitude did you not like? Well, I didn't. I never met him, but I did watch him. I, I saw him down in uh, CFA down in Miami, Florida, at the fights, and he was very arrogant. He just uh, just kind of rubbed me the wrong way just looking at him. I didn't know who he was at the time, but then later on I, I I found out I was fighting him, and then I put two or two together, and I was like, oh, that guy's a prick. I, don't, I never met him. I don't really have a beef. I just don't like his attitude. Now that you fought him, have you changed your opinion? Did you have a chance to he talk to like him? He's a really nice guy, right. to be honest. So I'm sorry if I, if I, uh, I don't know, was too disrespectful. But this is a very disrespectful, for, disrespectful sport. Right. You almost have to say what's on your mind and be uh, honest. And that's what I'm trying to do.
All right, so a year later, I'll ask you the same question that got us into this mess to begin with. Who do you want next? <laughs> Cerrone or Diaz? That would be a, my ultimate fight. That whole Obama thing, that we're not even going to go there now. No, I it's think that, that, that ship has sailed. It's gone. Well, you're yeah. going to keep running with it. You're yeah, going to keep not? running with the, uh, the shots. Why not? Why a little not? little different. Yeah. It works. That's me. I, I, uh, I get a chance to say what's on my mind, and I'm doing it. All right, well, congratulations on the win. We look forward to the next one. Thanks, as always, for the time, Jacob. Thank you.